We're ready now for the men's collegiate 4 by 100 meter relay. Records in this event, collegiate record held by TCU in 38.23. And the meet record is also held by TCU, 38.80. And in lane six, the favorites, Norfolk State, coached by Steve Riddick, who helped them win this event back in 1971 and 72. That's the last time they've won this race, Dwight. A very evenly matched field. Norfolk State, the only team that broke 40 seconds in the qualifying round will be the favorite, but some tough opponents, including Kentucky NCAA champion indoor and outdoors, Tim Harden, the 100-meter specialist, will run the second leg for Kentucky. Four teams in this race have won the Penn Relays 4x1 at some time in their school's career participation here. Norfolk State looking to be the favorite in lane six, but Kentucky can watch them from inside them at lane four. Norfolk State going with their two strongest men on the second and third legs. Tim Montgomery will run second. He'll match up against Tim Harden from Kentucky. And Brian Lewis will run third. So Kentucky just inside that curve in lane four. Norfolk State in lane six, two lanes outside. And the speedsters will be on the second leg down the back stretch with the winds at their back. Excellent handoff for Norfolk State. Now this is Montgomery running the back stretch. North Carolina running well now, but has problem with that handoff, Dwight. Brian Lewis for Norfolk State. Looking very, very strong out in lane six. It's their race to lose as Raymond Clay has a clear lead as they go towards the tape. Outside in lane eight, that's TCU giving chase, but it's Norfolk State all the way. And everybody raising their arms today as they cross the finish line unofficially 39.26. I think a good run in these conditions. You said earlier, beautiful weather, Dwight. Maybe good high jumping weather, but it's kind of cool out there for sprinters. The sun helps, but I think we've seen a little bit of slowness in these sprint relay times as a result. Got to be a little more careful in warming up. Of course, not a, not a perfect tr trip around the track for the Norfolk State baton, but you can see they work well as a unit. And a lot of credit to Steve Riddick. A good leadoff leg by Malcolm Watts. Notice him running very close to that white line. And I think the big news for Norfolk State was putting their two best guys on the second leg and third leg. Tim Montgomery takes the baton. And excellent turnover, Dwight. A strong runner. He's run close to 10 seconds for the 100 meters. And a decent handoff. Runs up a little on Brian Lewis, his former teammate in junior college. And they didn't have a great handoff to the anchor man, Ramon Clay, but as you said, he was out. He was able to run free, and I think that made the difference. They were able to relax, even raise their hands in victory. And Penn Relays is not so much about times or records as it is about winning, and that is what Norfolk State was able to do here. 39.27, their winning time. TCU in second, and North Carolina comes up with the third spot. Craig, we're just hearing that North Carolina, who finished third in that relay, had a problem on the exchange. They're in the light blue, the exchange between Tony McCall on the left and Milton Campbell on the right. The second exchange. Hard to see the markers on this pin relays track, but you can see that Milton Campbell got out a little bit too fast, and by the time the exchange was made, they were out of the zone. So here are the amended results. Norfolk State still winning TCU second, but Texas A&M now takes the third spot as a result of that disqualification to North Carolina. 